All right, so we've decided to replace the gauges. This is our old dashboard. Um, it was in pretty rough shape. Um, there were some lights up here that half of them weren't connected and half of them were kind of falling out and stuff like that. Um, one of these gauge pods was an old TPS monitor that they no longer make. So there was a big hole here that when we had taken that thing out, um, it just kind of left a big hole there. Um, the spinometer, although it worked, um, if you went below, say, 20 miles an hour, it just did the whole needle bounce thing. So I'm not sure that thing was in the best condition. Um, it doesn't have a tack, which we intend to add a tack. And then all of the rest of the gauges were just a mishmash of um, all different types of gauges and different types of lighting and wiring. And so it just it just looked pretty bad. Plus this piece of wood is in pretty sad shape. So we've decided to redo the dash as part of the wiring cleanup. So we're in there cleaning up a bunch of wires and you know we're gonna follow the same kind of pattern except we're gonna do it in aluminum. So um, we're gonna attempt to do it in aluminum and we got um, some hole saws to do the different uh, sizes of, of gauges. And um, so that's what we're gonna attempt to do now. There's the basic shape. All right, we're continuing work on the uh, dashboard. Uh, last night we cut it all out and we decided to use a, a circle here because it was hard to cut in there. But we've marked out, or Michelle more accurately, has marked out all of the gauges and where they go, what sizes each of the holes is. And we've done our very first one and we just test fitted it and it seemed to go in there okay. So um, it's pretty much exactly the right size. So um, we have test fitted um, with these holes, the gauges into its mounting slot. So now we're gonna go through and start drilling out all the holes and getting it ready.
holes are drilled. Um, I've got to clean them up a little bit with sandpaper, but all of the holes are drilled. We test fit this one just to make sure it fit, um, and we'll test fit some other ones just to be sure it all fits, but <clears throat> we're going to clean up the back sides and uh, just by sanding them and uh, getting them smooth and then get it ready to go get anodized. So this is the second step. So we are prepping these pieces to go to, uh, we've chosen to anodize these aluminum pieces. Um, so this will be the dash, so these, this is a speedometer, tachometer, so all of our um, lights up here that tell us like um, if the high beam's on or the turn signal's on and all that sort of thing. Um, this is the dash panel we've been putting together. Um, this is for all the switches on the side. Um, the pieces of wood that were used for this were pretty, um, they were pretty beat up. So we are lightly sanding them with, uh, this is 220 grit on here right now, um, with the or random orbital sander. And um, we'll hit it again with the 400 just to get it nice and smooth, make sure there's not any scratches. And then uh, we'll take it to the anodizer. We've never anodized anything, so we'll see how that turns out. All right, so we just got done. Uh, hitting these with the 400 with the random orbital sander, so um, we're about to get them ready to go to the anodizer. So this is what they look like before they go.